Alright guys, hi again. Here we are. And first of all, before we get into doing anything, the last time, winning the first time, the first episodes, I forgot to enable this and uh, that's why the game looked a little bit ass, but now I found out why it looks ass and it's because of this and now it looks better. Okay, good. Let's talk to Wan. Hey, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan yep. brought. That's me. When? Where are you? Hi, let me look at you. I need to see. It looks we like the monster. What do we have Hi. here? I heard the new Grey Warden recruit was from the Circle. I don't believe we've met, but I've certainly heard a lot about your talent. Of course, My name is Wynne, and talented. I congratulate you on your harrowing, marvelous work. The Fade is a dangerous place. It sure is. It was terrifying. I thought the same. It's good you can admit that. So. A Grey Warden, fighting alongside the King. Not too shabby for someone just out of apprenticeship. Yep, I am confident in my skills. Good. You'll need them when you face the Darkspawn. Mages have always been pivotal in the fight against the Darkspawn. Perhaps you'll be the one to turn the tide this time. Perhaps I will. I should get going. Well, don't let this old mage distract you from your duties. I'm sure Duncan has much for you to do. He sure has. That is no failure, my friend. Should it find you, you will not have failed your king. Hey, dude. Mm, this isn't good. I hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. Sure, what's the problem? This is a Mabari. Smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help, but I need him muzzled first. Can I give him a shot? Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. Hey, puppy. How's he going? Who's a good boy? <laughs> there you go. Oh, come on. Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds anytime soon? Yes, why? There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood-red center. Okay, I'll see if I can get one. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. You do that. Hey, dude. So, any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty You're face could be decorating high. something. You there, elf. Where's my armor? And why are you dressed so preposterously? How dare you address me so human? What? Oh, uh... You're the one who arrived with the Grey Warden. Yeah, you better I, uh, respect me, Please, bro. forgive my rudeness. There are so many elves running about, and I've been waiting for... Oh, it's simply been so hectic. Uh, I never thought... But please, pardon my terrible manners. I, uh, I'm just the quartermaster, a simple man. No one special. Uh -huh. You're forgiven, human. For now. Thank you. <laughs> Did you come for some supplies, perhaps? Yeah, actually, I came for... A bit of Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the king's men, Cheating. but uh, you Grey yeah, Wardens no. can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Maybe. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> Let me see those. On so long as you keep it quiet. Let's uh, get a bit of money real quick. I think we have very expensive stuff that we can sell. Just... Excuse me, why did you still like that? <laughs> Just click it and drag it. Look at that! We're so rich now. Why, why does it sell when I just click on it? That's so rude. Okay, there we go. Let's just get up to a thousand. That's great. We have that? We didn't even meet Shell yet. Why do we have that? I don't know. Is that good? Yes, that's good. Let's take that. <laughs> what is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens, by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? 
Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The grumpy one. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. You are a very strange human. You're not the first to tell me that. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. Yes. I really? Am. You don't look like a mage. I have uh, a staff that is, and a robe. I mean, <laughs> how interesting. Wait, I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit That's from me. the Circle of Magi. I should have recognized you right away. I apologize. You are forgiven, human. Did Duncan mention me? Nothing bad, I hope. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Okay. Hi, my name is Ignis. Right, that was wife. the name. <laughs> you know, it just occurred to me that there have never been many women in the Grey Wardens. I wonder why that is. Hmm. Because we're too smart for you? True, but if you're here, what does that make you? Incredibly unlucky. Ouch! Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. Okay, I look forward to traveling with you. You do? Huh, that's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Let's go and get some poopy keys. Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. No. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. Uh, why would I help you? Because you might want something I don't need. Them circle wizards got a chest they keep things in. Magical things. And I stole the key. That's why I'm here. I got one of them drunk, took his key, and tried to sneak to the chest. They assumed I was deserting. I can't use it from here. But I'd trade you for some food and water. I'll see what I can do. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. Okay. Hey! Lucky dog. You Grey Wardens get to ride with the King while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. I had a chat with him, actually. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. No, not really, but he's hungry. Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. Please give him yours. All right, all right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. Don't know why you care. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm gonna say it was you. Just so you know. Okay. You do that. Hey. So? Brought me some food, have you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Yeah, here you go. Much obliged. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. And, as I mentioned, here's the key. Use it in good health, huh? Huh. Considering where that came from, let's hope we're not the only ones in good health. It's a nice poopy key. Who wouldn't want that? Hey, I came here to ah, tell you Ah, I suspect about you are one opinions. of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's Blessing? You administer blessings to elves. I merely pass on the Maker's Blessings. He looks kindly on all who will receive him. Does he destroy the home of those who will not? I'll not discuss politics here. Take <laughs> your hatred and be gone. Okay, bye. Hey, Duncan. You found Alistair, did you? Yes. Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, Duncan. I'll go collect who we're missing. This is Sir Jory, a knight from Redcliffe. How do you do? And this here is Davith, a fellow from Denerim. Charmed, my lady. 
And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said he was bringing. Hey, nice to meet you. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood. One for each recruit. And the second one. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. All right, blood and scrolls. Let's the scrolls go. contain treaties promising support, treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Good. Let's go. Hail. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. Over here. Hi, dude. What's up? Who is that? Grey Wardens? Yeah. Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got to return to camp. Let's bandage you up. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Oh. I. I've got to get out of here. Have fun. Don't die on the way. I. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. No! You sound like a coward to me. I am simply trying to stay alive. You do not see me fleeing, do you? Not yet. A bit of fear isn't unnatural, you know. Few relish meeting Darkspawn up close. I know I don't. Well, let's just get going. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die. But we'll be warned about it first. Yeah. That is positive. reassuring. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on. Oh god, guys. That's a lot of look flowers for my puppy. Alright guys, this is the hard part, so just let's be wary. Be wary, exactly. Kill that thing first. More the food today. Well, well, what have we here? 
Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger, poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder, come into these dark spawn filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey? What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? Emma Cray Warden. Tis a tower no longer. The wilds have obviously claimed this desiccated corpse. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes, swooping is bad. She's a witch of the wilds, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there. Women do not frighten like little boys. Tell me your name and I shall tell you mine. Emigne is a pleasure to meet you. Now that is a proper civil greeting, even here in the wilds. You may call me Morrigan. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Then who removed them? Twas my mother, in fact. Can you take us to her? Hmm. There is a sensible request. <laughs> I like you. I like you too. I'd be careful. First it's, I like you, but then zap. Frog time. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'd be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. Greetings, mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dareth. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Does your elven mind give you a different viewpoint? What do you believe? I believe. I am not sure what to believe. A statement that possesses more wisdom than it implies. Be always aware. Or is it oblivious? I can never remember. So much about you is uncertain, and yet I believe. Do I? Why, it seems I do. So this is a dreaded Witch of the Wilds. Witch of the Wilds, huh? Morrigan must have told you that. She fancies such tales, though she would never admit it. Oh, how she dances under the moon. <laughs> did not come to listen to your wild tales, mother. True. They came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Thank you for returning them. Such manners. Always in the last place you look. Like stockings. Oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me, 